and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below. And without much further ado, let's get on with the video. So today's video is going to be my Walt Disney World pin haul from September. She bought a lot more pins than she was expecting to buy. Like, I knew I was gonna buy a lot of pins, okay? That's not the issue. It's the fact that I bought so many, like, it's the fact that I bought more than I thought I was gonna buy and I already knew I was gonna buy a lot, but um, I also feel like I didn't buy enough. Once you start, you can't stop, okay? It's just, you just pins, okay? Pins. Also, yes, I'm wearing my Adam Hatton top, which you guys will see in a vlog, because I made a really cool vlog and I'm proud of it and it has to do with Adam Hatton and this top, so. Yeah. Before I start this video, I just want to do another disclaimer. Obviously, with all of my hauls, I don't mean to brag about anything. I literally live for haul videos. I live for pin videos because you can't really see what pins Walt Disney World have until you go out there. I am going to start, however, with a couple of things that you probably have already seen if you watched my Walt Disney World haul, but if you didn't and you're only here for pins, then they still apply. So I'm going to really quickly go through those again. The first thing I got to put my pins in was this pin trading little Thing. This was $42.95, which was quite expensive, um, but I've been wanting this for a very long time because I was like, I want to store my pins and I don't really want to put them on a wall or anything, I just want to store them, so I got this for my pins to go in. And as you'll have seen from that video, I bought a couple of lanyards. The first one I got was this one, which has the evil characters on them. So you've got the evil queen, Ursula, Mother Gothel, looking actually quite creepy like what happened to her face but then on the other side you've got cruella maleficent and the queen of hearts but my favorite thing is that on the other side other side you have chernabog first of all then you have jafar hades my boo uh then you have dr facilia scar and hook okay i just it's a really nice lanyard and this was $12.99. And then the last lanyard I got, I got specifically so I could put my pin trading pins on it, so I could wear them around the park and then trade my pins. And it is the Lilo and Stitch one, which I've currently got my pin trading pins on it. But um, this one comes with this little like card thing that is attached, all the pin trading lanyards, so the ones that are like a set with pins in them, which I'll show you in a second, come with this little thing on it. And it says how to pin trade on the back, which I think is really cute. And then to go with that lanyard, it came with four pins, so the lanyard and the four pins came to $29.99, which for the whole thing isn't actually that bad when you think about how much a normal pin on its own is. But the first pin I got from that little collection was this one just here, which is Stitch with like a loaf of, is it bread or cake? It's from the film like where he puts it in the oven and then he brings it out and it's like the whole shape of the oven. And then the next one is this really cute little Christmas one which is Stitch and Lilo making a little snowman. And then one of my favorites is obviously, if you've seen the film, Lilo gets like a speed pod racer thing from Jumba. And this is this one. Look at it, it's really cool. And then obviously the best one of the whole set though, I was there for Halloween, so this one like wins, is this one just here, which is Lilo and Stitch. Lilo is a witch and Stitch is a vampire. And they also have a little green pumpkin, which is really cool. And I really like it and Stitch looks so like evil. I'm gonna start with the pins that aren't actually from Walt Disney World just to get them out the way because I bought so many pins that it's just it's gonna be a mess otherwise. The first one I got was from Think Geek so it's the same place I got that lounge fly bag that you saw in last week's video and it is this pin just here. It was $7.99 and it just says snap and it's the infinity gauntlet and I just I love Infinity War a lot and it just, my mum saw it and was like, Amelia, you do realize this exists? And I was like, oh yeah. And I literally walked straight to the till. Like it picked it up and walked straight to the till. It was quite funny. I think Geek delivered, let me tell you that. Like they have some good stuff in there and I was very fortunate to find Infinity War stuff. Now we're gonna go to Universal cause I bought a couple of pins from there. First off, I wanna show you the one that my friend Tyler got me from when he was there. He was there about a month before me and he got me this one and these ones are 10.95 and they still had them when I was there but it's just really cute and it's my house pin and now I actually have a house pin because I didn't before cause last year I got a head boy pin, it was Slytherin. So yeah, but this is this one. Then the first one I bought this year is this one just here, which I love because it's got the like holographic-y thing. And when you look at it in a certain way, Harry Potter completely disappears. And I just, 
I love that a lot. This one was 9 95 and it says, undesirable number one, Harry Potter, contact the Ministry of Magic immediately if you have any information concerning his whereabouts. Failure to report will result in imprisonment. Reward, 10,000 galleons on his head. It's just this one, just here, and I really like it. Look, he just, he can, wait, is he gonna, he's not gonna disappear on camera, is he? He does disappear, I promise you, it just doesn't show up on camera. So if you guys saw in last week's video, I was wearing a top, and that top I got from Primark, and it was this cute, like, chibi kind of Harry Potter design and they actually had pins of that like design of harry potter and i of course got harry on his broom they also had ron hermione uh hagrid dumbledore and dobby i think they were the only ones they also had keyring versions of them but i was just like i'm gonna go for the og okay i need harry so this one was 9.95 and it's just harry potter harry potter harry potter harry potter and finally the last Harry Potter pin I got was this set and I saw it and I was like <laughs> Yeah, it is this set just here and it says on this little like notepad I must not tell lies and then you've also got Umbridge's quill I just I saw it and I was like I'm getting that one and I picked up immediately and went to the till again I see a pin and I'm like yes and I just buy it because I have no self-control 14.95 and what I really like about the Universal ones is their pin backs are little stars, which is really cute. And then the last pin I actually got from Universal It was a trashy pin and I needed it. So I wanted a Universal pin And I saw this one and I was like it has to happen. Okay, it has to happen if you didn't know I'm minion trash Okay, I hate minions so much that I think I like them at this point It's a very odd relationship. I have with minions. I've never seen the minion movie. I love Despicable Me never seen the minion movie, but like it's become a thing. So I picked up this trashy pin right here, which is obviously the Universal Studios clapperboard and then which also fits because I'm a film student. So, you know, win win. And then it's just got all of the minions. Well, the main minions on it. I'm sure one of them's called Dave. And this one was $8.95. So the way Disney works with their pins is you can either get single pins, two pin like groups or like a bag of like five to ten pins or mystery pins and I bought two different sets of mystery pins these were 27 99 and you get five out of 14 in this one little packet so you get five pins for 28 dollars basically so the first one we got was a little iron man then we got a falcon and I love this one I think I'm gonna keep the falcon I'm pretty sure Pat doesn't really like falcon that much venom and I'm, I'm very like I really like Venom. I'm gonna warn him when I go and see the film, which will have happened by now, but I'm gonna go and wear him. Then we have the Forgotten Avenger, which is Hawkeye, the legend, the one that just shoots arrows, you know, the Katniss of all the Avengers. And then the last one, which my mum will love because my mum watches the TV series, I do not, is Daredevil. And he's really cute. Now, what I really liked about this one is the fact that I knew all the characters going into it. So there wasn't any specifically that I was gonna be like, oh, I didn't want that one. And bearing that in mind, I didn't really want to buy any mystery sets otherwise because obviously you don't know who you're gonna get and I didn't want to spend loads of money and then be disappointed. But I found a collection where I loved every single pin and they had two that I really, really wanted, but I was like, I'd be fine with any of these. And that is the Villains comic book collection. I love this collection. So these were, I believe, $14.99 and you get two pins. And basically, I just, I love the whole concept of them. You get like a villain and then they're saying something in a speech bubble, but then all of the pins like will kind of go together if you get the whole collection. I bought three boxes of this over the course of the two weeks because I bought the first one and I was like, oh my God, I love these. So then I bought two more and I only got one double, which I then traded. So all in all, really, really good. I really enjoyed it. I really like them. The first one was Scar and he just looks like this. And I just, I really like him. And his says, no fool, we're going to kill him. And Simba too. And I just, <laughs> Scar. Okay, I love the villains. It's Halloween. It was fitting. Okay, it was fitting. The next one I got was the Queen of Hearts and she's screaming off with her head. Then I got Hook as well. And he's going absolutely crazy. And he's saying, I'll get you for this pan if it's the last thing I do. Isn't that the point where he then gets eaten by TikTok? Eaten, eaten. And then, I screamed when I opened this. I was very, 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 very happy. Um, <laughs> I got Hades. He was like the main reason why I wanted this collection, but then I saw the others and I was like, I'd be fine with all of these. Yes, I'm getting this collection. So yeah, I got Hades and he's really cool. And he says, my favorite part of the game, sudden death. 
um, obviously, he's Hades. He runs the underworld. Next pin. And then the pin that I got two of was Chernobog, which I'm really happy about because I'm pretty sure, like, the reason why I got two of him is because no one knows who Chernobog is, so everyone's like, just just double Chernobog in all these packets, put more Chernobogs in there. His says, meanwhile, on Bold Mountain, and it is just this one just here. I love it because he's like an insert into the comic book because he doesn't talk, he's just there, like, chilling, like, hey, I'm on Bold Mountain. There's loads of ghost people beneath me. Cool. But um, yeah, I traded another one of these and the cast member I traded with was like, oh, it's Chernobog, that's really cool. So yay for this collection. I really like it. I think I did good. And um, yeah, now we come on to the Walt Disney World pins. Now the way that Walt Disney World do their pin prices is through a color code system. And as of September 2018, the pricing is for green and silver, $9.99, blue and yellow, $12.99, and then pink is $14.99. First of all, I'm gonna start off with the $9.99 pins. So these were either silver or green. I met Gaston finally this holiday. So I was like, I need, I need a Gaston pin. And they had one and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get Gaston. So Gaston just here, he's just a simple character pin. I really like him. And um, I met Gaston guys. Finally, I met Gaston. Now, if you didn't know, even though I've said it in pretty much every single Disney video I've ever made, Expedition Everest is my favorite ride in the world. I love it so much. And this year I was like, I'm gonna get a Everest pin. That wasn't English, let's go with it. I got this one and it says, beware the Yeti. And it's the new Mickey Mouse kind of cartoon style and the style that the Mickey Mouse Runaway Railway ride is going to be in. So I really liked it. And it's just, it's, it's a terrified Mickey with a Yeti and I just, I love it. Look at it. It's really cute. I got four like on their own separate villain pins. The first one I got was Dr. Facilier, who is one of my favourite villains. I absolutely love Princess and the Frog. Tiana obviously is my fave, but I just love Facilier. And it's this really cool like pattern and it's got the like voodoo skull and then it's just, it's really cool. And it's just Dr. Facilier. The next one I got was Yzma from Emperor's New Groove. I've literally never seen an Yzma pin before in my life and Emperor's New Groove is my humor. That's what I channel when I edit. <laughs> it's just Emperor's New Groove. So that is this. Yzma is looking great. And then of course I couldn't leave out my favorite Hades. They had a Hades pin in this collection and I love him so much. I think it might be one of my favorite pins because he just looks so cool and I just, Love him. And then also there was actually another Hades pin and I was like, yeah, it's happening. Literally any time I saw anything Hercules or Hades, I was like buying. I didn't actually see that much, but it was mainly just pins. And I realize now I pretty much bought all the pins that were Hercules slash Hades. This one just says devilishly handsome. And it is just this one just here, which I really like because it's, it's like very simple, but very like big and just character pin. I seem to like the character pins a lot more than the like small obscure pins. Happily Ever After is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Like that's not exaggerating. I cry every time. If I watch it on YouTube, I'll sob. And I was just standing there watching the show, just crying my eyes out. But I wanted to like commemorate that show because I haven't actually got anything to represent my love for that show. And I found the Happily Ever After pin and it's just the most precious thing. It says, find your happily ever after. And then it says Magic Kingdom. And look at it. It's just, I, I love it. It's also got a little Tinkerbell just here. As I said, I love Emperor's New Groove a lot. And I found this pin just here, which is Kronk with Bucky. I know, Bucky, another reason why I love Emperor's New Groove because the squirrel is called Bucky. Anyway, it says squeaky, squeak, squeaker, squeak. And, and if you know, Emperor's New Groove, but more specifically Kronk's New Groove for this, but actually um, Kronk speaks squirrel. It's an odd film, but it's an amazing film. But I saw this and I was like, I'm getting that. And I just look at it, okay? Look at it, it's amazing. It doesn't seem, it's so amazing my camera doesn't even want to focus. Now, as I'm sure most of you know, this year Toy Story Land opened in Hollywood Studios and I finally got to ride the Slinky Dog Coaster. It's amazing. Like videos don't do that land justice, but I wanted to commemorate me finally getting to go to Toy Story Land. So I got myself the official 
Not the really special limited edition one because I didn't have any of those left, but the Toy Story Land pin, which is so cute and it's got all of the gang on it. And I actually watched Toy Story on the plane to kind of like get in the mood. And so it's just, it's just really cute and really like extra. And it's also got Wheezy on it. And if you know, Wheezy's part of the Slinky Dog coaster. So I just, I really like this pin. Okay, it's really like bulky. It's really on the floor. It's also got Jessie holding up a little like Target for Midway Mania, which is one of my favorite rides. And it's also got a little alien in a swirling saucer. And I just love it, okay? It's just, it, there's so much to this pin. And I just, commemoration, okay? Commemoration. And then also I saw this one and I could not put it down. So I actually have found a newfound love for Haunted Mansion. I think it's my favorite ride in Magic Kingdom now. It terrifies me because the idea of getting stuck in the graveyard scene, the lights coming on, and then the animatronic still moving, but you have to kind of just sit there and wait and look at them. Like it freaks me out. Also, I love it because it's so, so, so themed. But anyway, I saw this pin and it says, beware, a toy will follow you home. Look at this, look at it. It's got a little alien, it's got Woody, and then it's got Mr. Potato Head, and they are the hitchhiking ghosts, but I guess the hitchhiking toys. And I just, it just is so cool. It's so cool. And they're all doing their little like finger pointing thing. And I just, I saw it and I was like, I can't put that down. I'm getting that. So now we come on to the blue and yellow pins. So these were all 12 99 And the first one I wanna actually do a little story. It's really, 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 really quick. But in 2008 or 2011, I'm not sure, I bought this pin just here, which is a Finding Nemo the Musical pin. If you didn't know, Finding Nemo the Musical is my favorite of all the shows in Walt Disney World. And this year I was like, I wonder if they have like an updated pin and they did. So I got it. This is the newer version of the Finding Nemo the Musical pin. And I've decided I'm gonna collect them all until the show closes, which please never close. I love you so much. So this is the old one and then this is the new one. So the next one I got is another show pin. Um, Last year I watched Fantasmic and Thinking back, I can't actually remember watching Fantasmic. I don't know what happened, but I think my brain exploded last year and I just don't remember like half of the things I watched. So this year we watched Fantasmic again and it was like watching it for the first time. It was amazing. It is one of the best shows on property. It's probably my second favorite after Finding Nemo. It's just amazing. And me and Pat both wanted the pin and they only had one left and I was like, uh, and my mum was like, ah, so I was like, do you by any chance have any more? And then this cast member was amazing. I can't remember her name. I wish I could, but she asked another cast member. She was like, hey, can you go and see if they have any of these left? And luckily they did. So me and Pat were able to get this pin and it is the Fantasmic pin. It's just beautiful. I think it's just such a cool pin as well. Like the show pins, I love. So this says Fantasmic, obviously, and then it's got Flotsam and Jetsam on it. And then it's got Maleficent as a dragon. And it's just so pretty and sparkly and everything the show is, okay? My favorite thing is Mickey going, doom, do 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 ba da dom dom Was that sad? Probably. Now I'm gonna go on to ride pins because obviously it's me. I commemorate things and I had to commemorate my love for these rides. So the first one I got was another Everest pin. It says, go ahead and scream Expedition Everest. And it's just this really cool one of the mountain with the Yeti like reaching out. And I just, I really like it. The next one is also from Animal Kingdom and it is the Flight of Passage pin. It is actually the totem that is on the front of the ride. Flight of Passage is such an amazing ride because it's so delicately put together. Like, when it sprays you with water, it's a mist instead of a spray. When it smells like grass, it just, it's like a hint of grass. It's just amazing. That ride is amazing. And then finally, the last attraction pin I got was the Tower of Terror pin. There was quite a few different Tower of Terror pins, but this one, I was like, I like this one a lot. Again, it's got like Mickey and Goofy in that kind of new-ish style. You can't really see them enough to be the new style, but I just, I like to think it's the new style. And it says Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror, and then it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And then there's Lightning and it's Tower of Terror. And I just, I love that ride so much. I love Drop Towers. Okay, I love Drop Towers, so I love it. The last two 12.99 pins I got was Figment, uh, obviously. <laughs> Figment is my gay icon, okay? I don't care if Figment isn't gay, he's my gay icon. Um, I love Journey into Imagination with Figment. I wish it was still the original incarnation of it because that looked amazing. And I love the Dreamfinder and that whole storyline and the whole like fact that the Dreamfinder would be out in public and meeting guests. I just thought that was amazing. But I do absolutely adore Journey into Imagination with Figment. It's so annoying, it's so colorful, it's so loud. Like it's me, 
in a ride. And I obviously love figment because again, loud, colourful, annoying, like me. <laughs> so I had to get this one. It actually says Epcot Center and then since 1983, figment 100% pure imagination. It was the coolest figment pin they had because it looks kind of like mildly retro and mildly more like steampunk like the original ride. So I really like this one and um, I like figment, okay. And then the other one I got was the Marvel Avengers pin. I love it because it's just got the originals on it. Well, originals except from Natasha and Clint, but let's go with it. The last two pins that I bought with my own money were two limited edition Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party pins. Now with these pins, you can only get them at the party or if you have proof that you are going to the party slash have been to the party, so you have your wristband still, or you have your entry ticket like confirmation, you can go up to a cast member in the Emporium or the trading post in Frontierland, I believe that's where I got mine from, and you can be like, hey, can I get these pins? And you can get them whenever. Just as long as you can prove that you have entry to that party, you can get the party merchandise whenever. So I picked these two up when I was obviously at the party. I had been searching and waiting to buy them literally for the past month or however long that I knew that these were coming out. So the first one I got was this one and it is the limited edition stitch pin. It was $16.99. He spins just like this and he's like like candy corn behind him. It says Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party on it. It says 2018 and then it's Stitch in a little pumpkin outfit. I didn't even think about the price because I'd been wanting this pin for so long. So I was just like, it's happening. She's getting a limited edition one. And then the other one I got was also limited edition and I was so happy that I found it. I was buzzing. And it's the Hocus Pocus Villain Spelltacular pin. It says 2018 on it. It's got the three sisters on it. I love it. I love the art style. I just, I love everything about it. Look at it, okay? Like, look at Winifred. I've been waiting years to see that show. I got to see the rainy version of the show and then the like proper version of the show and it is amazing. It might actually be Finding Nemo. Does it beat Find? I don't know. But again, this one was $16.99 and then on the little package, it actually does say Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. That was the last pin that I bought with my own money. The other ones I bought actually in the outlet, I got them for, I think it was, they had a couple of Shanghai ones for 99 cent. And then they also had a couple of Star Wars ones and a Big Hero 6 one for like $4. I bought a couple of those so I could then pin trade them because I've never been to Shanghai. I wasn't too fussed about keeping Shanghai pins. So I bought a load of those and I traded them for these ones, which I'm gonna quickly go through. So the first one I got was this one, which is Duffy Bear and he is dressed as the Dream Finder. I saw this and screamed and I was like, is that, is that Duffy? Is the dream finder? And the cast member was like, yeah. And I was like, can I trade? The next one I got was a Yeti pin and this kind of matches my figment one I got last year. So I really like that. And it's just really simple. The next one is a Vinylmation pin and it is the dog from Pirates of the Caribbean with the keys in his mouth. I just really like that one because I do really like Pirates of the Caribbean. And then on the other side, I got this one, which was actually part of one of the mystery packs I really wanted, but I only wanted Hades. So then when I saw someone with this, I was like, oh my God, it's happening. And it just says explosive personality. If that's not a mood, I don't know what is. The next one I got was this one, which was Figment. And I saw this and I was like, yep, yeah, getting that one. We love Figment. It's happening. Also, I found someone who had an orange bird. I love this one. And then the last pin I got was this one, which is such an odd collection, but it is the Thai collection, but it is Gaston. And I actually got this one before the other Gaston, obviously. And um, I was like, yep, we love Gaston. They were my pin trading pins. So the way I did it was I just went up to a cast member and I was like, hey, can we trade? And they were like, yeah, go for it. So those were all the pins I got from Walt Disney World, Universal and Orlando. If you enjoyed today's video, then please do not forget to subscribe just here. Also click here for my previous haul video, and then here will be a link to the vlog series. But until next time, bye!